Van Gisbergen's won five of the last championship races. Three in a row here last year against the odds. He's off the front row. Can he get the job done alongside a fast starting Will Davison? And Davison converts beautifully off the line. Second gear, third gear. Shane dives to the inside to cover. Will comes up on the outside in third position. Anton having a nibble here in fourth position, but a beautiful start by Will. How was the aggression of Van Gisbergen getting across to the inside? We spoke about it before. I think there's been contact there. No, they got through. Wow, well done to everybody there. I thought for sure there was going to be a, a car spinning between two and three. Well done. We'll have a look again when we do our replays, but that move by Van Gisbergen to the left was extraordinary. He's got margin up the back straight for the first time, Will Davison, and he's bolted. An aggressive move to cover down the inside by Van Gisbergen to make sure that he didn't lose any further ground to any of the other marauders around him. So he hangs on to that second spot to touch up down the bottom of turn nine, and Feeney goes round. Be very Infringement, contact with 88. Sorry, I stepped on the first part of that, but I think it was... Yeah, well, that's a dropping infringement for Andre Heimgartner, but I think there might be more of the story because I, I thought that maybe Brody Kostecki was into the back, was into the back of Heimgartner. So we'll just have another look at that at some point. That's a 15 second time penalty. So, no. Andre, that's a big one, isn't it? To see how that benefits Scott Pye. And remember that they can sit there and take the time to fix that bonnet because they have the 15 second penalty off the back of this. So uh, once that's all taped up and sorted, I'll get this thing on its way. But uh, he's about to have a, a shocking result. This five, feels like five minutes, four, not 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Go, 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 go. That's going to drop him to the very back of the field. 1.2 seconds now, the gap to Van Giersbergen. And he's just squeezing it out ever so slightly, and uh, on our computer interrogation of what's going on out there at the moment, there's not a lot of tyre hurt. They're, they're actually showing to be quite hardy at the moment and consistent, not a lot of tyre degradation. So Anton Di Pasquale did an 8.59 in the previous lap. And that's the reason that they've had to react. I'll give you some numbers on pit stops in a second, but some very nice ones that we've seen so far. So what's the rejoin? There's Shane in the background, Anton behind him, and here comes Will, so. Controlled all teams, bad sportsmanship flag, car 55, careless driving. So that's Thomas Randall, and the gentleman on screen there is James Taylor, the race director for Motorsport Australia. He's running ops in the tower just nearby. It's there the it is. Five and 97, exceeding track limits. 5 and 97, James Courtney and Shane Van Gisbergen exceeding track limits, bad sportsmanship flag. Uh, uh, dare I say it, I'm not 100% convinced that Shane's got the pace. That, I mean, it, 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 I'll calibrate that. He's at the front of the field and doing very well. But where we've... Sportsmanship flag for exceeding track limits. They're just walking down there at 7. It's Andrew Edwards. Yeah, it's a cool stat, isn't it? 37 each. Go, go, go. And as Neil's been talking about through the course of the weekend, this place built on the heritage of the Brock Moffat. Something here. And yeah, it's parked up. I, I, don't, I think it's stalled and they can't get it to restart. Do not push the car, let it go on the Do not push the car, go, Lee, all clear, go, go, go. What happened there? I don't know. I, I, you, you were yeah. in stat land and I was what, thinking, what's going on? They just sat there. Who's trying to land there? We've seen some massive incidents up here. Now, Pitha is across the inside. He's been able to park back under and got away with it. I thought that was going to be very awkward. Yeah, I think uh, a couple of heart rates up and down the pit lane went up then. Tim Slade's having a nibble on the outside here. You can actually make that work, and we're about to see it happen, because it gives you the inside running through the final corner, and that was nicely done. You don't often pass around the outside, but it's the next part of it. But look at all this. So two and then three wide. Brock Feeney down the inside. Jack LeBrock, we've got Chris Pitha making it three wide. Macaulay Jones having a bit of a look here as well. And when they're weaving around and someone's on the dirty side of the road, that's often when there's little errors that creep into the game. Now he's having a good look down the inside of turn nine on James Courtney. And he probably needs James to be a bit cooperative here because he is in the hunt for the championship. 
Cam Waters, and he's rounded it up pretty nicely on the outside. So he made that reasonably easy for him. So that up seven four spots now. Eight, Position he's number five, Cam Waters. Great drive. Four, and he's got pace in hand at the moment, so he might be able to grab Will Brown if he can get a clean go at him. And he now, half fainted, didn't he? And he just did it again then. So the two little things that Waters is trying to employ it's just that little move before the braking area. He tried to do it down into turn nine, he just did it down into turn 11. He just moves it over, indicating that he might have a lunge. Uh, so Will Box, he moves it over. He's, oh, and he's gonna give him a bump. They, they made contact then, didn't they? If they did. Yep. If they didn't, it was very close. Well, well, the bit that's bad there is I reckon that Will then moved it back over in the braking area, and he was already committed. So Cam, well, that's why Cam's blowing up on the radio. He'll get him next lap. He'll, he'll, he'll try and round him up. He's tagged him. He's tagged him into the right hand, and they both got away with it, but only just. So it's an aggressive defence here from Brown, and it's an aggressive he attack here from Waters. Sam Potter. Just said, you can't do that. Think about, I would have got it quiet. Think about the points he said. And then what he's saying is that he's moving it over in the braking area. Which when once you've committed and you you've got the momentum and inertia of the car and you're braking it as hard as you can, if someone moves it across in the braking area on you, there will be contact. So that's what he's blowing up about. On the last lap, and oh, Waters almost oh, runs it out of the road on the exit of turn four. So it's getting a bit ragged at the back end of race number 24 of the Repco Supercars Championship. And at the moment, Will Davison is on target for an impressive victory. And we are yet to determine what happens for fourth and fifth into the final complex after a brilliant drive today. Advances it in second gear, lines it up to the chequered flag, and it's career victory number 21 for Will Davison at yeah. a very special yeah. location at Sandown. Oh, thanks, Rich. Thank you, guys. Look wow. at this battle here. Wow. Waters what on the attack what every game, which mate. way. Switches to the inside, tries to take the short line, and Brown hangs on. There'll be aggro after right, the race for those two guys. Keep on fair recovery from where we started. To Confirming our race results, Penrite Oil, Sandown Super Sprint, Will Davison home by pretty gigantic margin in the end, nearly eight and a half seconds over Shane Van Gisbergen. Tiny margin of about half a second to Anton Di Pasquale between Shane and Anton. Will Brown doing everything he could to hang on at the end by two tenths of a second over Cam Waters. James Courtney, the watching brief in position six. Scott Pye, nice run in the top 10. Mark Winterbottom was in the game as well. Thomas Randall comes home in ninth position and Chaz Mostert moved up slightly into 10th. Kostecki Reynolds, nice job for Davey to get up where he did. Golding Feeney, quickest lap of the race. Percat forward, Jones Slade, LeBrock Smith, Hazelwood, Kostecki, Heimgartner, a tough one because he copped the penalty after shoving Feeney off early in the game. And then Holdsworth and down the order there, Chris Pithu had a deflating tyre.